Soil pH is critical to a healthier lawn. Let me share with you my plan and how I've moved my pH significantly. Hey guys, it's Russ. I wanted to welcome you to Lawn Journeys if you're new, if you're a returning frequent flyer, subscriber, or you just drop in once in a while, glad to have you with me. So in this video, we're gonna be covering a number of topics. First is what is pH? Second, why is pH important in the soil and how does it relate to your grass and its importance in nutrient uptake and success of your turf? I'm also gonna be sharing with you my soil sample results from 2021, where I started my pH adjustment strategy and the results of my spring 2022 soil test, which shows how much I've either improved or made worse my soil pH. So stick around, we have a lot of information to cover. I think this is gonna be a fun video. First thing we need to talk about is what is soil pH? Soil pH is a measure of acidity or alkalinity in the soil. pH value is actually a measure of hydrogen ion concentration. Hydrogen ion concentration varies over a wide range, and that's why pH is measured on a logarithmic scale. So here's an example. If your pH decreases by one, the actual acidity in your lawn increases by 10. On the flip side, if your pH increases by one, your alkalinity increases by 10. So what happens when soil pH is too high? In general, some nutrients cannot be efficiently absorbed by plant roots. High soil pH is generally the result of over liming acidic soils. Also, it could be from alkaline irrigation waters, which may cause a high pH, as well as calcium carbonate rich soil. So what happens if soil pH is too low? Nutrients may be taken up too efficiently. The excess can't be processed fast enough. It overloads plant systems, causing it to languish and die. One of the other indicators of acidic soil is it is conducive for uh, moss. Low soil pH can also be related to loss of organic matter, erosion of the surface layer, effects of salts and nitrogen and sulfur fertilizers. So now the big question is, okay, Russ, lawn journeys, tell me what is the best soil pH? Generally, the optimal range is between six and seven. Basically, I'm shooting for a 6.5, which is optimal for uh, plants. A pH of 6.5 is just about right for home gardeners and for lawn enthusiasts. Most plants thrive in the six to seven range, which is slightly acidic to neutral. I've taken this pH endeavor a little seriously. I've done some homework. I've done some studying. I've read a lot of literature online. You guys can do the same thing. I'm just trying to put it together easily for you. But now we come to the question, okay, I've done a soil test. If you guys haven't done one, you can link to the video. I have my results, and I either am on the low side or on the high side. In general, there's two ways traditionally that folks will lower or raise their pH in their lawn. If we're looking to raise it, the answer is usually limestone. If we're looking to lower it, the answer is most always sulfur. So traditionally, you've heard folks say, I need to lime my lawn, I need to do a lime application, I need to maintain my pH. In my case, because I know that I do have a low pH in my soil, my answer would be to do a lime application. However, last season, you guys can check the video out, I decided to take a chance on the Jonathan Green Magic Cal Plus for lawns in acidic and hard soil. This particular product contains a dolomitic lime, which is calcium carbonate and magnesium. It's completely soluble and it's immediately available to adjust soil pH upwards. Um, poor soil is often the problem in growing a great lawn and calcium is vital to many grass plant functions. When soil is compacted or too acidic, air, water, and nutrients are unable to reach the roots, making it difficult for grass to flourish. For those who have a high pH and, and are interested possibly in using the Jonathan Green product line, this is where your Magic Cal Plus for lawns and alkaline and hard soil comes in. Um, this particular product contains sulfur and calcium sulfate dihydrate, which lowers soil pH. All right, team, so I made three applications of this product last year. I uh, put it down at the recommended application rate that's on the bag, which is 3.6 pounds per 1,000 square feet. Um, last year, I had some folks tell me that, you know, they thought I was wasting my money. I'd be better off putting uh, limestone down 
you know, the 40 pound bags that you can purchase at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, these two bags with shipping um, were about $80. Covers my 10,000 square feet. The recommended application rate for limestone is 20 to 50 pounds per 1,000 square feet. I calculated to do a single application of limestone on my 10,000 square feet, I need approximately 500 pounds of limestone. The first thing is I'd rather spread two 18 pound bags, which is 36 pounds over my 10,000 square feet, than to be out with my spreader spreading 500 pounds of limestone. Not to mention, I gotta go to the big box store, I gotta load it up, I gotta bring it home. It's dirty, it's messy. So if we do a price comparison also, um, basically I'd be looking at 13 bags of lime, which would be probably about $75. Um, actually, and I didn't even put tax on that, so it's probably close to $80. Um, these two bags, Magic Cow Plus um, delivered, I purchased them um, online. There's some links below to different uh, places where you can go. You can go direct, it's available on Amazon, it's available on Yard Mastery, um, or anywhere else that, you know, um, sells lawn supplies. In any case, I had the convenience of having these delivered to my house for $80 versus um, hauling myself down to the big box store. But now let's talk about the differences between the products. Limestone from the big box store in the bag is a relatively pure form of um, calcium carbonate, which will move your soil pH. However, this particular product is known as dolomitic lime. Dolomitic lime is a mix of calcium carbonate and magnesium. Magnesium also comes has a play in this game. It's also important to plant health. So the online literature that I was able to read from multiple sources shows that dolomitic limestone pound for pound neutralizes more acidity in the soil than just straight limestone. Plus you're getting the addition of the magnesium. And if we look at my soil test, I was also low on magnesium. So as you can see from my soil test, my 2021 to 2022, I moved my soil pH by a factor of three. Now, would the limestone have moved it more? Would it have moved it less? That's an experiment I could do, but you know what? I had such success last year and I'm still so low. I really wanna get my pH at least to six. If I can move it another three or four points this year, you know, I'm closing in on that. And we have this bag opened up. Let's pour it in. As you guys can see, the dolomitic limestone it's used with the magnesium. It's a little bit powdery, but it's rather fine. So make sure you don't open your spreader too wide. Pay attention to the application rate. All right, team, so let's summarize. I showed you my 2021 pH. I showed you my 2022, which was the result of three Jonathan Green Magical treatments that I did last season. I'm gonna repeat that process because I did raise my pH from five to 5.3. So I'm on my way to six. The things I like about this product, the Jonathan Green Magical Plus, uh, in my case, for acidic soil, your case could be for alkaline soil. I like the fact that it was a dolomitic lime product with magnesium, because I'm also deficient in magnesium. I had a three magnitude increase with three treatments, okay? The price is dead even. If you compare how many bags of limestone I'd be purchasing at the big box store, lugging home, spreading on the lawn three times a year versus the two 18 pound bags of Jonathan Green product, it's easy to spread. I had a good result. And my mission is to continue these applications every other month. I'll do three, maybe four applications this year. We'll see how the season goes. And possibly I'll do a soil test in the fall to get an early result. If not, we'll get it again next spring. Like the video, leave some comments if you've used any of the Jonathan Green Magic Cow products and if you've had the same success, better success or no success. I'd like to know, let's see if we can figure out what's going on. If you've had just as good success using limestone, let me know what your application rate is per thousand square feet. Let's compare some notes and maybe we'll do a, another update um, video. Okay guys, so if you made it this far through the video and you haven't done it yet, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Leave your comments below. Let me know what products you've used, if you've been successful or not. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them or have a conversation with you. Get out there and get it done. And if you need any help on doing a soil test, it's super easy. Just click this video right here. 
and I'll see you guys next time on Lawn Journeys.